The bold flavors of Southeast Asia have been a lifelong passion of Chef Salil Mehta. The new Delhi native made a name for himself at New York City's Lao, the first Malaysian restaurant to earn a Michelin star. And since then has opened several concepts featuring dishes inspired by street food found in Singapore and beyond. We met him at one of those restaurants to talk about his mission to shine a spotlight on the flavors of the region. Chef Salil Mehta is constantly cranking out new dishes at Wow on the Upper West Side, putting his spin on comfort food from Southeast Asia, like crispy tom yum lotus root with sweet chili, lime leaf, and sesame seeds. Is it spicy? Is it spicy, sweet? Spicy, sour, spicy? sweet, salty. You should get a little mm. bit of everything in there. A little crunch? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's sweet. It's good. Meta's path to the kitchen was unconventional. How did you learn to cook? Oh, man. A lot of research. What did you do? <laughs> You're going to laugh. So there's a Buddhist temple in Elmhurst. You know, Elmhurst is a Thai community. And every morning, people from the community cook for the monks, and they cook home-cooked food over there, and they'll go serve it to the monk. And I just went there. I took food. And I started talking to the local Thai ladies about what they put in their food and what I put in mine and kind of understand what's missing from my side. The self-taught chef was born and raised in New Delhi, the youngest living in a multi-generational home with 40 relatives. The amazing part was like, because of the amount of people that we had, there was always an abundance of food. And my grandfather, when he came to India during the partition, his business was a restaurant. <laughs> That's what he started, so it's kind of in our blood. Meta landed in the culinary world after graduating from Person School of Design in 2008. When you first came to the U.S., what was your dream career? It was design. I wanted to study design, understand design. My father he left fashion for food home. at first to pay the bills. But in 2010, he took over Lao, a New York City Malaysian restaurant. I'd never been to Malaysia in my life. Never been to Malaysia in your life? No. And you took over a Malaysian restaurant that yes. ended up earning a Michelin star. Which was crazy. I didn't even know what a Michelin star was at the time. <laughs> Other chefs must go crazy when they hear you say that. Uh, hopefully they don't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to grab the other end. So okay. now you're going to go, this hand goes here, this hand goes here. OK. And you just continue. Yours looks a little better. <laughs> Today, he better. showcases the flavors of the region at his four restaurants, including Wow, named after a Malaysian kite. When you eat these certain flavors with the lime leaves, with that extreme sour, extreme spice, with the richness, it just lingers on your palate. Like his unique spin on calamari, vegan style, coconut lightly battered and tossed with a spicy, salty mix of garlic, long green chilies, bell peppers, and salt. So it's young coconut, salt and pepper, some aromatics in there, and it should remind you of calamari. It's delicious. How about that? These are... Chili pepper. I mean, you have to be brave and bold. Oh, really? You're, you're going for it. for it. OK, you're going for it. I'm and some going water. For it. After <laughs> water, am I going to need anything else? It's good. And a popular main course is his version of a classic Malaysian noodle dish, dragon breath char kuei tao. This is your comfort food. It could be breakfast, it could be lunch, it could be dinner. Take it some. could be your drunk food, it could be your any food. You <laughs> like know? A drunk food? Oh. <laughs> this is the late night dish? Yeah, <laughs> late night, early morning, the day after, everything, mm. you know? In clay pot curry rice, a spin on Indian biryani topped off with roti. Very important vegetable in Malay cooking, eggplant and okra. It'll remind you of southern cooking over here, too. That is really rich. Mm -hmm. The jasmine rice with the sauce. Yeah, because this is all you need. Meta isn't stopping with food. Inspired by the cocktail culture in Singapore, he opened the bar Singlish near Union Square with his beverage director, Colin Stevens. What kind of twist did you put on it? From the drinks, all the twisting and turning was this man over here. <laughs> his cocktails are complex, sometimes taking up to eight months to master. We try not to be afraid of difficult things. From a bashu cocktail with robusta coffee, pandan and clarified coffee liqueur they make in-house. Mm. That is delicious. 
Cheers. Just a little salty, but the espresso, oh, that is really good. To the black and white, a clarified cocktail topped with soy milk and served with a side of grass jelly. I think this is my favorite. Nice. Really refreshing. Nice. That's beautiful. It's a very good summer drink. Whether it's intricate cocktails or savory desserts at WOW, like pandan coconut tiramisu. We took the lady fingers and we dipped it in oh, a savory fingers. coconut milk. So you'll get that salty coconut milk in the, in the lady fingers. The top is a pandan infused. Pandan is a screw pine leaf. Meta says for him, Southeast Asia is a source of inspiration and full of fascinating stories he wants to continue to share. Every story is very special. There is so much more when it comes to food. But when you understand the journey of how it got to this table, then you will appreciate it a lot more and you'll be like, okay, cool, now I understand why this is this way, you know. Can you believe he's self-taught and a Michelin star winner? It's wow. really incredible. I've never heard of a Michelin star before. No, I've never been to Malaysia, <laughs> but let's take over a Malaysian restaurant. All right, let's take a look what we have here. We have beef rendang on your plate nasi petang, and the char kway tao that I tried. That's the fried noodles with the shrimp. It's your every meal mm. food, your drunk food. Yes, the drunk food. Yeah, I there like that. Go. Delicious, right? And those cocktails, you said eight months to master? Eight months to master. Wow. Gorgeous. So many things go into it. Rose petals he'll put on, cocoa beans, and then the grass jelly on the side of mm. one. This is good. There's some heat here. This is spicy. Mm -hmm. We gave that to you. Special. Really good, really good, though. It's really good. Thanks, Meg. Nice job. Thank you. The Dish is sponsored by Oceana Cruises. Your world, your way.